Mike Spicer here at Spicer Green Jewelers in Asheville, North Carolina. And today we're going to be doing our diamond educational video on carat weight. So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you visual represent representations of different diamonds and how big they are to the eye. I'm also going to talk to you about what carat weight is and what it represents. And then we're going to do a short piece on the pricing of diamonds and how that how carrot weight affects the prices. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our video on carrot weight. So what is carrot weight? Well, carrot weight is actually a unit of measure for mass, like pounds or kilograms. One carrot is actually equal to 0 0.200 grams. The word carrot is not referring to carrots as in the vegetable, but rather carob, like the tree. You see, in the seed of a carob tree has a very consistent weight of about 0 0.200 grams. So long ago, gem traders would use these seeds to balance their scales while buying gemstones and diamonds. The word stuck, and that's why today we use the unit of measure of carat for gemstones and diamonds. So here are some round brilliant diamonds with ideal proportions to show you a visualization of what carat weight looks like. Here is a five carat diamond. Here is a four carat diamond. Here is a 3 carat diamond, a 2 carat diamond, a 1.5 carat diamond, a 1 carat diamond, and a half carat diamond. Not all diamonds that look the same visually will have the same carat weight. This chart shows us what perfectly proportioned diamonds in different shapes will measure in various carat weights. Some diamonds we know to be more spready, other diamonds we know to be more deep. Take these two diamonds for instance. On the left hand side, we have a very spready 0.85 carat diamond. Due to the spreadiness of this stone, we're leaking light through the bottom and the light performance is not very good. When compared to the two carat perfectly proportioned oval, the light performance in the oval outshines it tenfold. Just because you have two diamonds that are the same carat weight does not mean it will look the exact same visually. There will be slight variations. The cut grade actually comes into play here quite a bit because the way the diamond is proportioned, if it's too deep, it's gonna look smaller face off. If it's too shallow, it's gonna look bigger face off. So that's really the difference. Now, some people love a diamond that looks very, very big face off and has a low carat weight. It will impact the light performance, however. So it's really up to you to make your own choice. As again, I believe that diamonds are a piece of art. And you should look at them with an open mind and just pick the one that you find the most beautiful. So now we're doing carat versus cost. The first thing we need to know is diamonds get exponentially rarer and more expensive as they get larger. Take a one carat diamond, for instance, that's selling for, let's just say $5,000. If you were able to magically grow that diamond so it was two carats, it would not be twice as much at $10,000. It would more likely to be fifteen dollars to $20,000 because as diamonds get larger, they get much rarer and therefore more expensive. When buying diamonds, there's also something that I like to call magic sizes in terms of value. So most people, when they're buying a diamond, would, would prefer to have a 1 carat diamond over a 0 0.90 carat diamond. There's very little visual difference between these two sizes. However, the price can be enormous because of the demand in the market. Here's a list of some of these magic sizes to help you save money on your diamond purchase. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our video on carat weight. Please, as always, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. If there's any questions, leave them in the comments below or feel free to email me at elliot at spicergreen.com. And until next time, have a good one.